about the colony that did come out this weekend here in the US. Yes, I'm so I'm so excited for it to finally come out. It's been almost three years since we shot it and you oh, know wow. with COVID and, and everything. It's just been, yeah. Did you, get to see it? did you get to see it on, on the big screen? I did. I was actually in, um, I, I saw it on my computer first. Um, and then I, um, I went to Berlin uh, last week to see it in a, in a cinema. Ooh. And that was amazing. I'm very, um, I'm very happy I got to see it on a, on a big screen. So what was one of your favorite scenes on the big screen? Um, I think there's, there are a lot of good scenes. I, I love to see all the scenes in the Tidelands. Uh, I love the, um, you know, the scenes where, where Nora, um, she wakes up and, uh, and I love the, the scenes where we're walking and in the Tidelands and, and the one where she's, um, where uh, Nora's following me and then we're, you know, our first conversation. What's your experience watching your films on a big screen? Um, I, I'll say I, I'm not completely comfortable watching myself, uh -huh. um, but I'm getting better at it. And in a way it's, I think it's a good practice to, to evolve as an actor, to see, to see your own performance and, and, you know, learn from your mistakes or, you know, just get better. But I think it's a bit uncomfortable. I agree. I don't like editing interviews and watching myself or listening to myself. Yeah. <laughs> so I kind of understand what you're saying. Yeah. But now let's talk about the film. I, it looked like you guys were cold the entire time. I was cold for you watching the film. Oh and from what Tim says, you guys were cold because of the location. Yeah, we were. Um, I mean, we were pretty much soaked in water all day long every day um which gave a lot to uh to the film and the and, and you know the characters but yeah it was it was uh it was demanding but also it, a gift in a way yeah. yeah and you also were like running barefoot too right yes uh almost i mean you can really call it a shoe so yeah that was also a challenge <laughs> do you have to do any training for it for your mom um, yeah i actually did quite a lot of training because, um, you know, because of the character and, you know, the way um, all the mutts are, they live, um, you know, they're, um, they're self-sufficient and they live with nature, not against nature. So they're very active, they're very physical. Um, so I wanted to, to look like that also, uh, yeah. And let's talk about the, the film, the dialogue. One of the things I mentioned that it doesn't have a lot of dialogue. It pretty much like expresses with actions, not to mention your character. Yeah. Lake. Well, um, yeah, I mean, it's, um, I, I very much love that um, because sometimes the, the strongest way of, of saying something is not saying anything. Um, so I think that's very strong. And also it's in those moments that, I mean, at least I feel something special, especially, you know, while watching films, if I watch a film, it's, it's often those moments that I really enjoy. So I thought it was for me, at least as, as an actor, it was very nice to get to experience that. Um, yeah. And what was it like working with the cast? Uh, it had a great cast. Most of your scenes were with uh, Nora, however. Yes. Uh, well, I, I love working with Nora. She's, um, she's an amazingly talented actor. Um, and she's just the best person. And we became really good friends and we're, we're still friends. And um, so, yeah, it was, it was just a lot of fun working with her. And to start wrapping <laughs> up, is there something you can share that we'll be seeing you in? in the near future? Uh, well, right. I have two finished films that will come out eventually. And right now I'm in between projects. So. Okay, well, that's good. You're staying busy. <laughs> Hopefully in warmer weather. Uh, well, yeah. 